shit. Mountain Pass is beautiful as ever. You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. Guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm? What? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. After taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls, wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. If she wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses to do as she's told. You like that about her? <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame, but this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that, if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. See why you were so eager to practice. Strike. Blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know. And you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! Exactly. So you'd best behave. 
Come on. We'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Of course. This a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? To the bottom. <laughs> Maybe if you fall. What did I tell you about breathing? Through your mouth, in rhythm with your steps. Siri, cut it out. Vesemir's got that look. What did you expect? Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Mm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Siri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Should work on the basics. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals, and Ciri's barely a novice. Draw your sword, Geralt! One, two, three. <laughs> Not too late to surrender. Oh, Strong strikes. Ah! Give it all you got. Never on. lock your elbow when striking, young lady. Take that. <laughs> Slice to jump. Come foolery. Enough. Dodge. Position, Siri. Footwork. Remember. Uh, 
now. Parry. Siri, like see how Geralt holds his sword, its angle? What am I supposed to parry? I'm fighting a stupid dummy. Pretend Ooh. now, live later. Riposte! Strike! Counter-strike! Maybe a storm's coming. Right. <laughs> Slice your jugular! Now, young lady, to bring the day to a close, we'll go over a few witches' signs. Let's start with Quen. Siri, Quen is sometimes called the Witcher's Shield. Now watch carefully to see why. Siri, Quen is sometimes called the Witcher's Shield. Now watch carefully to see why. Just dig me, Geralt. I want to see sparks fly. See, if not for the Quen sign, I'd be aflame by now. Come on! See that, Siri? Uh I'm too old. Time for Axie. Damn it. I hate this feeling. Axie can really muddle your mind. Come now. on, show her, Geralt. See this, Siri? Couldn't move if I wanted to. Throw a bomb. Don't worry, Siri. Quen will dampen the blow. Fine. Enough. Continue training at will. Ha! Whoa! You really showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. A little she-devil. Soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Kaer Morhen. Find that helmet? Siri? Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you.
Hi, and welcome back to my channel. The Witcher 3 next gen update works out of the box with no tweaking needed. I've seen reports on Reddit about the DX12 version performing poorly on Linux and also on Windows with up to 30% less performance. I have found in my testing that there is a 12% overall difference on Linux. However, this does not mean that the DX11 mode is better. If you are just looking at average and max FPS, then yes. But it has significantly lower 1% lows much higher 97th percentile FPS compared to DX12. This shows to me that the DX11 implementation is unstable with frequent frame spikes and dips, which is reflected in the frame time graphs as well. I saw a similar trend on Windows 2. Ideally you want 1% lows and 97th percentile as close as possible to the average FPS for smooth gameplay. Then we get to the ray tracing. I did not test or compare this because on Linux it simply isn't working. There was an issue raised for this on the Vulkan directory D GitHub page, and as it affects both NVIDIA and AMD, so this tells me that must be an issue within VKD3D itself. That being said, the next gen update looks great, and since it's free, I cannot complain. So thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. Take care. Cheers.